Hi, welcome to this quick video about flight logs in Drone Desk. So I'm just going to take you through how you add to flight logs and how you can then export and or print flight logs from the system. So if we go into jobs first, the only place you can log flights is against a job. And as I've mentioned previously, a job doesn't have to be for a client. So you can create in-house jobs. If you create a client that is your own business and select a job type that is either testing currency training then that will be assigned to your business and you can you can log flights against that so let's go into this testing parachute job just by way of example click manage job if i scroll down flight log is in the post flight section so in flight logs you can see there's already some flights logged against this particular job so let me just go add row to add a new one and you can see that it's pre-populated with the pilot the sign to the job and the default drone you can change these if you want to so let's say Bobby did it and uh, we did it in the backup drone just select the date and time of the flight uh, okay so just a nine minute flight uh, I won't bother adding any notes at this point so we've now added another flight to the log if at any point I want to export the logs I can do so for either the entire business for the entirety of all the logs that have been recorded in drone desk or I can filter to a specific date range or I can filter to a specific pilot or specific drone. So to do that, we go into reports and flight logs, and you're presented with that by default shows every flight that's ever been recorded in the system. There's a date range filter at the top. So if you click in this box, it'll pop up a calendar window. You can select either a predefined period or a specific date range. So if I uh, select the date range from the 1st of August to today, click apply, It'll filter the list immediately to that date range. So let me just do it. 6th of July to the 13th. Click apply. And there's no matching records for that period, uh, which is to be expected. So let's just go this month. Okay, so it's now showing all records for August. At the bottom, there's a couple of filters. So we can filter to individual pilots. So let's just see what Chris Froome's been up to. And then further, we can drill down to specific drones if we want and of course we can remove the pilot filter and just have everybody that's flown that drone for the period let's take that back to all i'll just go this year to get all the records back as with all the tables in, in drone desk you can search so if you're looking specifically for um bobby you can see that the table will filter just by typing into that box so let's clear that once you've filtered to see the records that you're interested in then you can either export to excel or to pdf so let me show you the PDF first, just click on that and you'll see that the flight log has been exported to the PDF. It'll mention your business name and it'll specify the date filter that's been applied if there is one. It'll give you a record count. So in this case, we filtered one record out. It tells you what date and time it's been exported and by whom. Okay, so that's PDF. Now, the other option is to export it to Excel. This is slightly more flexible in that you can then do what you want this flight log in the pdf it, it's not editable obviously so excel is more flexible so you click the button it'll download it open the form up and it's broadly the same format as the pdf but all the information is given in the second row around the date period how many records um, and when it was exported and by whom okay that about covers flight logs thanks for watching see you in the next video